to edit apps. We're gonna hit new app. And the first app I always like to have in my communities is actually going to be an announcements app. So the announcements app is just to let people know every single day, every other day, something new that's happening in your community, letting them know that there's a new event, letting them know how to behave in the community, whatever it may be, you're just making announcements that go directly to your customers. And so I click that, I'm gonna hit add, I'm gonna make it visible in my WAP right away. And then now I can just make a post welcoming people to the community. Welcome to WAP Mastery. Let's get this bread. And I'm just gonna put in a nice welcome message that I got from WAP University, but I'm just gonna change it to WAP Mastery. So all this is designed to do is to teach people how to behave in the community and just tell them where to go. If they're looking for the course, go to this channel. If you're looking for the general chat to talk to other people, this channel. If you wanna get feedback on your WAP, go into the WAP feedback forums. So it's just breaking down the rules of the community, what the community is all about, how people can behave and where they can find the different stuff that they want to use. And the reason I choose this app first is because the first app you choose is actually what is shown right when someone joins. So when they join a WAP, they're gonna land on your first app. So I always have that as an announcement to just make sure everyone's clear on what's going on and where they need to go. All right, so the next app that I actually wanna include in WAP Mastery is gonna be the course. So the course is the main product, the main value that I'm selling. It's a 40 plus module course teaching people all the different ways to make money on WAP, all the different tools, and it's very advanced for people that wanna make a lot of money. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add the app I'm gonna add a courses app. We're gonna make that visible and we're gonna hit add. And so now that I have a course, we'll hit begin setup. And all I would really need to do is create my course, give it a name. We're just gonna call it WAP course. Learn the most effective WAP tools to make money. Continue. The most comprehensive course on WAP possible. And then boom, we actually have the course app. Now all I need to do is just change the name of the title. We're going to say build your WAP. And then we'll just change the name of each lesson and I'll upload the content when it's done. So build your WAP, design your store. So that is the name of the lesson. That is the name of the module. And all I would need to do is upload the video file once I have it done. So then I'll just hit save changes. So now I'm just going to go through a few other apps that you can use, but I think you understand the process of how you can actually add apps. And you can see now that you've created them, they're up here on your tab bar. And of course, if you want to rearrange them, you're more than welcome to just go to manage apps and then drag them up here. As you can see now, the courses app is first. Another cool little detail to note is on the courses app. If we hit edit app details, we can actually change the name here. So mastering WAP. And then we're going to add the description, a full blown WAP course, giving you every tool you need to make bank. And so this description is actually what's going to show up on the app on your store page. And so if you remember that store page, it said what you'll get inside, it's going to actually show up there and I'll show you what that looks like now. So if we go back to our overview, we're gonna to go to our store page. You can see that that name and that description is now on our store page. So this is really important. It's really good for marketing and communicating what your product actually is. And so I put a lot of effort into the name and the description and you can actually even edit that icon to customize it, which I also recommend making a branded feel. I like to use a black background and for the courses app, I like to use these books. So now I have the black background with the books icon and I'm gonna make all of mine black and very specific icons that match what this app is actually doing. So I highly recommend doing that. It's very clean and it's really how you build a brand for your WAP. So I hit save there and as you can see, updates on the store page. Now let's just go ahead and go through all the different apps and I'll show you the different ones that I recommend and how you can use them. We won't actually have to build them together. So next, I think a chat is pretty crucial for every single online community. All these people are coming in to learn one thing. We want them to be talking to each other. We want them to be helping each other and engaging. So just a good general chat for everybody is gonna be an app that almost every community should have. This is basically just like a Discord chat. It's just a live chat for everybody to talk inside the community. Forums are another really important app where people can basically share ideas and reply to each other. So maybe for chat, you're not all there every single day live in the moment. Forums, you can just say, here's my WAP. I would love feedback. And everyone can just comment just like a Reddit post. 
Another big one is going to be a help desk. If people are lost or they have questions or they want to talk to you directly, they can submit a ticket to get help. It's like customer support events. This is where you can actually make a calendar of all the different video calls you have. And so if you're doing high ticket coaching, you can have an event on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You set the time and you can actually add a Google meet link or do video calls natively in your WAP. Just letting people know when cool events are happening. If you want to sell access to Notion, to any docs, any sheets, any video templates, anything you possibly could want to do, you can use the files app. Of course, you can host video calls. We have a calendar booking app where you can actually just sell one-on-one -on -one consulting calls. So if you want to charge $500 for an hour of your time, you just have your calendar booking in there. You connect your Google calendar and you can get paid $500 for that automatically within your WAP. You can even host paid Discord servers. You can do website embeds. So literally any website on the internet, you can just paste the link and now your people are actually just using that website within your WAP. And so this is really good for traders. This is really good for anyone who wants to sell a Shopify store. Maybe you sell merch on Shopify. You just do a website embed. You add the link to your Shopify store and voila, you're selling your merch within your WAP. This is one of the coolest features. I really think you can get creative with it there. So as we go on, I think one of the last few apps I'm going to cover is the Bounties app. So the Bounties app is really unique. Basically for the Bounties app, what a bounty is, is all you do is you set a task you want one of your community members to accomplish, and then you set a reward price. So let's say you want them to post about your WAP on social media. You say, post about my WAP on your Instagram story and tag me. I'll pay you $20. And so you set a $20 bounty that says, post about me on your story. And all your members have to do is just hit new submission, show proof. They just share a screenshot that they did it. You hit approve and the money gets sent automatically. So this is where you can get really creative with different tasks you want your community members to do. If you want them to leave a review, you can pay $20 for a review. So let's say that you want people to repost your content on social media. You can offer them $100 for every 10,000 views they get. So if they take your podcast, they make a clip, it gets 10,000 views. They just take a screenshot of that or put the link of the video in their submission. You hit approve and they make $100. So this is a really cool creative way for you to incentivize your members to do activities or do tasks and then just automatically pay them. All they have to do is make a submission, then someone on your team or you just hits approve and the money automatically gets sent. It's a super powerful app and I highly recommend using it. So there are dozens of other apps that you can go through, but those are my favorite. That's how I think about them and that's how I think you should use them. Those are the core building blocks of your product and those are the apps that you can include to actually have a product ready to sell on our marketplace.